homework. You're like, oh, can I have some of those Teddy Grahams? <laughs> All right, weather-wise for today. Uh, the visibility this morning is what we're talking about. Some areas of dense fog. The dense fog advisory until 8 o'clock. It's including Houston, Galveston, those of you in Liberty County, Chambers County, all the way out toward the Hallettsville area. Uh, but you can see very patchy in nature. That dense fog will return once again overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And then eventually we'll see a break from the dense fog as we get into the end of the week with our next front. 75 degrees right now in Galveston. Yes, I know it. It sure is warm and we're going to get even warmer here as we get into the afternoon. Lots of moisture coming in with the upper level winds. You can see the source of that moisture coming in from the Pacific and basically it's being steered across the Lone Star State. It's not going to produce a whole lot of rain for us because we're going to be dealing with this heat ridge should block most of that rain well up to the north. Instead, it's going to help pump up those temperatures in the mid 80s today. 90 degrees tomorrow. We'll see a change as we start to see a trough digging in from the west. This storm here across California will eventually impact us as we get into the weekend. But before then, we do have our next cold front on the map. That cold front moves in by Thursday, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. The timing is still uncertain, but we do know behind this front we've got some cooler conditions. We do have the chance for some strong, even isolated, severe thunderstorms during the afternoon on Thursday. And this is going to be one of those fronts that will produce some measurable rain for us. Again, still in drought situations. So any kind of rain that we can we can see is definitely going to be welcome. One to two inches for now is what the computer models are showing. And then as we get into the weekend, another round of rain and storms on Saturday. Meanwhile, behind that, even cooler air by early next week. We're talking about temperature readings possibly down into the upper 40s.